2010 session of the Colorado Legislature opens Wednesday. Key issue for educators is going to be legislation that would dramatically change how teachers are evaluated, how they get tenure, and how they keep tenure. Freshman Senator Michael Johnston is spearheading that, and it's expected to be, again, the biggest policy debate of the session. Looming over the session, though, is a more immediate and perhaps bigger issue, and that's budget cuts, trims in state aid to K-12 education. Uh, based on current estimates, state aid could be cut anywhere from 6 to 8 percent for the 2010-11 school year. No legislators and certainly no educators like that idea, but few people see any way around it. The other big money worry legislators face is the sorry financial health of the Public Employees Retirement Association. Um, despite its generic name, most of the contributors and beneficiaries to PARA are teachers and higher ed employees. The stock market crash last year really hurt PARA's investments and the system feels it needs to make major changes to be solvent over the next 30 years. Even though the 2008 legislature changed the state law to require changes in the CSAP testing system, it looks like the 2010 session is going to delve into that subject again. Uh, task force of the State Department of Education is working on testing reforms, but legislators are expected to make proposals for using electronic tests and perhaps allowing Colorado to participate in multiple state tests. Legislators this session are going to have to worry about more than K-12. State higher education system has also been financially battered by the state budget crisis. It looks like the state will be able to piece together higher ed funding for the 2010-11 school year with stimulus money from the federal government and with tuition <laughs> funds. But it looks like there'll be disagreements over how money is allocated among individual colleges and universities. Another higher ed issue expected to be on the agenda this year is transferability of community college credits to four-year schools and creation of greater uniformity among state colleges and universities. Regardless of how busy they are with big issues, every year Colorado legislators find lots of other education legislation to introduce. Among the long list this year expected to be a bill requiring school districts to provide more of their financial and budget information online, um, and even a bill to provide banners and trophies for high-performing schools.